Hi, how you doing? Uh, back in the workshop, which is great, getting on with the door. So if you watched the last video, you'll know that it was all cramped up. So I'm going to take the cramps off that. Uh, we got this done. The good thing is I've had a word with Joe, uh, Joe's camera, and I'm going to do a couple of different, we mentioned the, rub, the um, ribbon last time, I'm going to do a couple of different trials on the best adhesive glue to hold the ribbon in place. So might get to, onto that today. Uh, dismantle the door, flatten the door off, and I'm going to fit it back into into that thing there. But you don't need to be here for that bit because you've seen me fit a, fit the door in a previous post. So you don't want to watch that all over again. Um, yeah, it's good to watch some of the previous posts. There's there's lots in there. There's lots going on. Uh, and I've got some. I've had a good chat with Robert. Thank you, Robert. Um, a couple of good things coming up very soon, which I think will blow your mind because I think it's going to blow my mind. We're going to do some really cool stuff. Robert's going to allow me to do a little bit of filming in his workshop, which is an amazing workshop. Um, metal work stuff needs to be done. It'll be worth seeing. So, you know what to do. Grab your mug. Crikey, that needs washing. Get the kettle on. I'll be back in a minute. Cheers. So, I'm getting started by cleaning the desk. and um, But also, doing a trial, doing a trial piece of, um, piece of ribbon glued into the channel so I'm just scratching another bit of channel out here it doesn't have to be perfect um, but it has to represent exactly what I've got on the frame and I'll be use, using this for three different types of glue to hold that little bit of ribbon not this one but a longer piece of ribbon I'll leave little tails on the end I'll show you when I do it yeah we'll be there in a bit so here are the three things we're going to use. I've got some PVA in there, I've got some polish in there, but it's thickened up and a bit shellac, and I've got some Type Bond 3. So we've got PVA, Type Bond 3, and polish. So I'll put you in, the, in that thing, and then we can start looking at different methods of application, and um, it does, but I'm going to leave it for 24 hours or so. So uh, let's start with the PVA. Let's just get straight on with it. There's no practice in here. Um, I think what I might do is just put a smear of the PVA on the back as a, can you see that? Um, sort of as a, as a, um, a sticky, sealy, primy coat. I'm not going to do right up to my thumb. It feels very nylon-y, but I suppose it's going to. Uh, PVA is down this end. So I'm going to put a bit in there. I mean, this this is the heat. Uh, we're, it's I don't know whether it's 30 something now. It's just incredibly hot in the UK right now. Uh, that explains the shirt and the shorts. So I'm just. You know what, I'm going to take, I'm going to move my finger over that, I'm going to take the majority of that back off. And this is something that is worth noting, because this is what I've got in my head that it'll be like. You know, we have these little, where I've just wiped my finger over, we've now got these, that's better. We've now got these two sort of sticky edges that I think will help when I put the two together. So I'm going to leave that for a little bit. Right, um, I've done the tight bond as well, so that's done. And I've just put some polish on there and there. I'm waiting for that to, you can see where the polish is. I'm waiting for it to flash off a bit. It's, um, yeah. So I'll wait for that. I'll stick that on in the same manner as these. These are looking pretty good already. Um, if I hold you still there, let's get you some light. There you go. So look, it's it's 
putting up some resistance, which is good. And this one, oh yeah, resistance already. And I've just done that. So I'll remember that I've just done that little bit on the leading edge. Worth knowing, uh, I'm going to leave this flash off for a minute, put that on there. You can see the polish is from sort of quarter of an inch to all the way to that end, but it's not on this end. And I'll put that this way. So, so there you go. That's that done. What's next? So I've chopped the end off and I've got this. Um, and I think I'll video me fitting a little piece of mahogany back in there. So I'll just put you in the C stand and we'll get on with it. Right, we're back the day after and um, these have dried. So that's great. So we're going to check those in a minute. Uh, and what I'm getting on with now is I filled can you see those? Somebody's having a party outside. There you go. That's my loose tongue. And I'm just going to do that one. I just thought I'd show you how I do it. So let's get you in there and you can see what's going on. So there's the off cut. This, this off cut was off the end of there. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you see that there? I'm going to, um, where my pencil is, there we go. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut part of this section away and then that's going to, I'm going to make that fit in there. So it's quite easy. That's about two mil, isn't it? And this is about, uh, it's about three mil. So firstly, let's, let's get where you can see me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this down there and I'm going to cut that off there first. That's quite an easy job. So let's get that done. So let's just cut that off there. <laughs> Yes, I could do with a new bench hook. Right, there you go. So now I've got something like that. That's great. And what I'm going to do is just run the plane over that. But it's not easy to run a plane over something like that. That's This is the problem. So what you do, what I do, is I turn the plane on its side. Now, should we zoom you in? Let's zoom you in. Just hang on. So I've just put a piece of wood under there. So instead of making a jig, I can just run my plane across there now. So let me just see if that's, that's right. So if I put that there, this surface is a bit higher than that surface. So now, Oh, nearly. Maybe another one. Maybe another one. Nope. One more. I wonder how many times I've said that over the years. A couple of good shavings off that. Oh, okay. You need to come up here. So there we go, little piece, and look at that. It slots in. Can you see that? Yeah, it slots in that shape. So now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark the length of it, and then. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark the length. Let me show you this. I'm going to mark the length, and I'm going to. There you go. Come on. There you go. We'll mark the length. But I'm going to cut inside that to slightly outside that line. So as it goes in, I'm tapering it. So it's slightly tapering. And that will make it fit pretty good. So let's just chop this to suit. It's warm. 
So I'm going to turn that like that and And there, and there we have, where are you? And there it is. As you can see, it's a little bit small. But let's get it fixed in and you can see what's going on. There you go, you can see what's going on. I haven't got a hammer with me. So let's just grab the glue and the hammer. And sometimes, and sometimes the Japanese hammer is a bit easier to get your hands on than a normal, normal European hammer. And I suppose some of you would be thinking, well, he hasn't tried that in there. No, he hasn't. He's quite confident now that it's going to fit pretty good. If it doesn't, I'll sort it out. Plenty of glue around the hole. Uh, which way is the taper? The taper's that way. Put that in there. And let's give it a tap. So it's tightened up about halfway down. That'll do. Line that off. And then we'll come back to you in a sec. Right, so there you go. That's what we've got. And this is the other end. So that's pretty good. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll just wet them. So there's a thing you can do with, um, that do periodically just to see what things are going to look like when they're, when they're polished. And it's just get a little bit of water and then put the water over it and it shows you what, how dark it's going to be and what it's going to look like when the polish is on. So let's, oops, sorry. So let's look at this end. There you go. So that's what it's going to look like. There you go, that's all right. And the other end, yeah, I'm happy with that. You can see where there's some, see where it's bruised on the end. Just a little bit tight there, that's why that end didn't go down. That's okay. It went down enough. It's just a covering piece to save looking at plywood. But this is the colour that the wood's going to be. And, and there's another thing that when you, before you finish, I raise the grain. So I'll take you through all that later. But, um, yeah, good to get that done. Right, next, uh, I'm going to pause you for a sec because what I want to do now is I want to show you, we're going to film the results of the testing for the adhesive. Now, I'll be honest with you, we're two days or so after this was glued on. So we've had a fair bit of time, so that's good. So we're going to put it in the voice, set you guys up on there. Right, next. Uh, I'm going to pause you for a sec because what I want to do now is I want to show you the results of the testing for the adhesive. Now, I'll be honest with you, we're two days or so after this was glued on. So we've had a fair bit of time, so that's good. So we're going to put it in the voice, set you guys up on there. Right, so you're getting the same view as me. So, first of all, the polish. This is a shellac based polish where solvent is methylated spirits and it took a while for it to um, flash off but what it did as well was it went through the pile of the velvet, crushed the velvet parts of the ribbon and it's it's brittle and it's not fluffy and it's sealed and actually that's no good. So that's failed now let's try pulling it off. Quite easy. Left a bit of deposit on there, but not... In fact, it isn't. It's just an imprint of the back 
of the of the velvet ribbon. So failed. Right, where do we go now? This is PVA, type bond three. I'm gonna do type bond three for no, let's do PVA. So we might want to watch this. Um I'm gonna put you there. I'm quite optimistic about these two, to be honest. I'm really optimistic about these two. It, we're definitely using one of them. And that was from the just pulling it off previous day. So let's see what's going on now. Ooh, that's quite a... You can see it's left some tufts there. That's a good sign. Um, it doesn't want to come off. Okay. Well, PVA is great. PVA is great. I'm pleased with that. Okay. So is it PVA or does Type Bond 3 win it? So let's um, keep you steady. You ready? Here we go. Oh, good grief. Ah. Oh, good grief. Look at that. So it's actually removing the felt from the backing. Wow, how weird's that? So the ribbon is separating from the woven velvety stuff that comes through the ribbon. And that's, that's too good. Well, there you go. Well, that solves that one, doesn't it? Type bond three is too good. So thank you for watching. Uh, that's interesting. It's worth trying. So PVA beats type bond three beats shellac. So I'm really pleased with that. That's great results. And um, please like, share, comment, all the rest. And more camera stuff and more other tips and tricks coming along very soon. Cheers. Bye.